Hi guys, David from Full Proxy Labs here in the UK. Today we're going to show you one of the many ways of deploying the Fortinet FSSO um, for seamless authentication through your FortiGate firewall. Uh, many ways to do this. In this particular example, we'll be using the DC agent mode. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is install the FSSO collector agent. Um, this is a standard Windows file server. It can be installed on the domain controller, but in this particular instance, we're using a separate server for that. And um, the collector agent is essentially um, what's going to be collecting or grabbing the um, user logon events from the domain controller and then feeding that to our 40 gate. So from here, we can click to launch the DC installation wizard. So this is actually going to be launching the installation on the domain controller itself, not on this particular server. Um, so we're going to reference this collector agent server that we're sitting on. And we'll just exclude some groups that we're not interested in having authentication through the firewall. And we'll select DC agent mode in this instance. And there's the warning to say that we're gonna actually install this against the domain controller itself. Okay, so back on the domain controller now, I'm just gonna have to do a reboot. Obviously at a convenient time for your domain admin. That'll complete the installation. I'm logging into a standard Windows domain client uh, just to create a logon event here. And we can see over on our collector agent uh, that that login event has been recorded. Okay, so we'll launch our DC agent from the domain controller. And we see the ignore list there that we've set to those groups that we don't want to authenticate. And we can see our collector agent there, this one on the port specified. We'll enable login just to make it a little bit easier for troubleshooting, should we need to. Okay, we'll just launch the collector agent console here and set a password uh, this would be like a shared secret type password that will be used here and on the forward gate itself to allow communication between the collector agent and the firewall okay over on our 40 gate um, we're actually working within a vdom here but the principle is the same uh, as if you're not using vdoms just validate that our ldap server is already set up and it is let's use that for authenticating to the firewall at the moment Okay, so under Security Fabric, Fabric Connectors, um, we're going to create a new FSSO uh, single sign-on agent. Okay, so give the agent a name and we'll add in the IP address of the collector agent server, .55. And here we'll add that password in that we added in earlier into the agent main dashboard. Click apply and refresh. That should retrieve our Active Directory groups. Just take a quick look at that. You can see these are all the groups that are pulled in from Active Directory. Click OK to this. You can see the collector agent is online and available. Next, what we'll do is create some um, FSSO user groups. Uh, so these are the groups that we want to include within our firewall rules. So we'll create one for the IT department and we'll add some members from that group. So IT department users. Okay, next we'll create a security policy or amend an existing policy. So we've got an existing policy here for client zone into internet zone. And we already defined the VLANs, but now we're going to add in an extra layer of authentication using the FSSO domain users IT department group. Okay, so back over on our collector agent, we can see that we've got no uh, authenticated users logged at the moment. So we'll launch a uh, domain desktop, create a logon event um, for a user in the IT department. I just refresh and we can see that we've got a logon event recorded. And we can see, validate using the show all FSSO logons that that user has successfully authenticated to the firewall. And we'll launch a web browser and we'll go off to fortinet.com. Where else? 
and we can get there successfully. So that means that rule is being um, hit and applied. I'll just test another website just for good measure. And that's working as well. Excellent. Okay, so just do a quick refresh of that policy. You can see now that we have traffic hitting that rule, which is great. And we will log on again now with a domain user account, but a, a user who's not a member of that IT department that was specified within that rule. So we'll log on as Donald. Um, he's not a member of the IT department today. Sorry, Donald. And that creates the logon event, which is recorded within the 40 gate. And we'll just open up a web browser as before and uh, attempt to access uh, fortinet.com. Now this should be unsuccessful um, because it doesn't match the policy rule that we have in place. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at the forward traffic log just to validate what we're saying here. As we can see, uh, Donald's uh, client IP address ending in .24 um, is being denied by or default deny all policy um, for all internet resources. So that's working good. And that's it for this video. Please like, subscribe and comment. And thanks for watching.